In this video, we see something here called an algebra machine. What an algebra machine does is it shows us how an equation was constructed. What do we mean by constructed? Well, we mean how is the equation built? Where did all these numbers and symbols come from? And when you're thinking about solving an equation, really what you're doing is you're deconstructing the equation, meaning you're taking something that was already built and you're taking it apart piece by piece until you can see where you started. Well, we started with the variable, and that's the whole point of solving an equation, is to figure out what number the variable is a placeholder for, or what is the value of the variable. So we have an equation that's been constructed, so if we can understand how the equation was constructed, then we can understand how to deconstruct it, meaning how to take it apart or break it down. All right, so let's look at our algebra machine here. It says we start by inputting the number y, and we start by adding 2. So if you look over in the algebra column, mm -hmm. we can see the symbolic expression for adding 2, which is y plus 2. Then it says we multiply by 5. So if you look across to the algebra column, you see that the sum of y plus 2 that we did in the last step is now multiplied by 5. That's why there's parentheses, because we had to multiply the whole sum. And then you see we output the number 25, and all that means is that we set the expression equal to 25. So that's how the equation was built, or constructed. What we want to do now is we want to deconstruct or break down the equation, or take it apart, or solve the equation. So in order to do that, we take the steps that it took to build the equation, and we work them backwards. And when we work them backwards, what I mean is we perform the inverse operations of each step. So let's take a look at what I mean here. I'm going to, re I'm going to recopy the equation to give me some space to solve it. So I have 5 times the quantity y plus 2 equals 25. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work these steps backwards to deconstruct. So again, my last step in the construction was to multiply by 5. So. I'm going to do the inverse operation of that, and I'm going to work in reverse order, and I'm going to divide by 5. So that means I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by 5. So that 5 is going to divide that 5, and I'm just going to be left with y plus 2. So there's no more need for parentheses because there's nothing to distribute. Now on the right side, I'm going to get 25 divided by 5 equals 5. Now, before I continue, I just mentioned the word distribute. Some of you might be wondering, well, why didn't you start by distributing the 5? I'll get to that at the end. Okay, let's continue to work our steps backwards. So next we would come to add 2. Well, the inverse operation of that would be to minus 2 or subtract 2. And I'm left with my solution of y equals 3. So what I've done is I've deconstructed that equation. So that means the number that I inputted up here at the top, the variable y, was just a placeholder for the number 3. Okay, now let's go back to what I said about how you were wondering why we didn't distribute from the beginning. Of course you can. You would distribute and you'd get 5y plus 10 equals 25. Then you would subtract 10 from both sides. And then after you subtracted 10, you'd be left with 5y equals 15. And then you would divide both sides by 5, which would yield an answer of y equals 3. Same solution, but I think it's nice to think of it in terms of constructing and deconstructing, because then you really understand what you're doing during the solving process. You're breaking down an equation that has already been built and you're breaking it down in the opposite order that it was built to get back to your starting piece. 